What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today is very exciting. I know it's not usually exciting when we talk about garden tools and stuff like that, but this is a new branch of the channel. They're called, the cold. The they're, cold. They're called, well, I was preparing myself because yes. I always thought they were Hui Man, but they're Hoiman. 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 So it's a brand called Hoiman, you guys. At first we were kind of like, Hoiman, who, who are you guys? And then they sent us pretty much everything they make, and we were pleasantly surprised by the quality of the stuff that we got. Um, you know, you very, yeah, very surprised. I've never heard of Hoiman before, but then we started looking around, like they sell on Amazon, Home Depot, all sorts of different places. So it's big, and they have a ton of different tools out there. The first thing that impressed me was just the quality. Like, I wasn't expecting much. But from the flex and how strong um, the handles are to the steel um, on the shovel, it's just... Yeah, again, and, it's and that's just me. a weird thing, right? So this shovel is actually very light. Yeah. It's very light. How do they do that? Well, they lighten up the handle somehow, right? So it's some kind of composite. So automatically we're thinking, oh, it's plastic, it's cheap, you know? So we actually went outside and Eric started flexing up and down on it. And uh, man, it took yeah, a lot I'm of weight. Yeah, I'm about 225, man. I'm at the heaviest point in my entire life right now. And it handled, handled me. Yeah, we couldn't get it to break. And then just features that you don't see generally or you do see on high-end shovels, which is the uh, overmold rubber grip at the back. You usually just see it up here. But here you have it in your grip area, which is nice. Here you have areas where you put your foot foot on which it seems it bigger in. that lip seems bigger than a lot of the other uh, shovels we've seen in the past yeah even down to just the serrated edges on the shovel I mean I know that doesn't sound like a big deal but it, but it helps you break the ground if you're going through like a weed uh, patch or something mm -hmm. like that it just helps you same with the uh, the hand rake over there you guys very quality feeling hand tool and I'm not just saying that you know they're not paying us or anything and I'm not just saying it because we were very spec or not speculative what's the well yeah we kind of were yeah. I mean in a way because we didn't we were, we were unsure again we haven't heard of it and the one thing that I did notice that I like is a lot of their cutting tools whether it's this or that and I don't it, they just everything seems sharp and again I know it's new but we well, I better hope no I, because we've used some tools that have not been sharp like and I'm talking about sharp sharpness it was easy to cut through a lot of these branches and stuff like this we've used other ones where they're sharp but it's harder to cut through if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, I guess. I mean, you know? to me, I just like, you know, these aren't just like your regular tools thrown together, you know, made overseas, whatever. They're actually engineered and designed very well. You know, like here you have this very bolstered, bolstered up area here, which is, you know, that's where a lot of the action mm -hmm. happens. So when you go to, you know, your pressure's here and you have the lightweight handles, because that's yeah. a light tool too. I mean, feel how light that is. You know, the axe handle. They're, they're, it's solid here, and then it's like hollow here. Yeah. Right? But it's some kind of crazy tool, ballistic, nylon, plastic, I don't know, man. It's weird. And this is really cool for the camper or hunter or whatever, anything like that. What is that? It's an extendable kind of pull saw. Oh, cool. Way, so you can get some cool. reach. Yeah, where you get some reach. And then this just comes off and it's by itself. So if you're on the ground, you can just use this. You don't have to have the pull saw. But perfect for the backpack when you're going out camping, hiking. Yeah. And knives, you guys. They have a ton of knives and uh, what do you call those things? Machetes. Machetes. Yeah. Uh, granted, I'm not a machete guy. I don't know why I would need a machete. I mean, if I was in Wait, Florida, go through the Everglades. Yeah, no, if you're, like, if you're like hunting, camping, walking, whatever, it's nice to have. Clear the brush out. Yeah, you know? I like how on this end, too, it's got a striker on this end, too. It's great. So if you got like a... A wedge or something. If you're splitting wood or whatever, you can hit it once. If there, split it, put the wedge, or put the wedge in, and then hit it with that. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> I mean, again, guys, this is just a new brand that we came across that really surprised us. You know, usually when you see these new brands, you just don't think twice about them. But no, because we've had a lot of other brands come across the table, and we don't because we don't like them. We yeah. Show them off. Yeah. You know? I mean, if it, if it makes it onto the channel. It obviously got our attention, you know, because yeah. usually something like this, we would have told them, ah, maybe we'll mention it in the Instagram story. But I really want you guys to know about this, and I want to hear your guys' feedback. Have you ever heard of this? Hoi Man, you said they're available at Home Depot, um, Amazon, where else? Other places online, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, it's more than just, I don't think it's like an OPE garden type brand. It's more of a, a outdoor lifestyle brand, I believe. I think so, you know, yes. for guys, exactly. right? So if you're out there, so I don't know what else they're going to come out with or what else they have, but I think you might start seeing that kind of stuff with them, you know, like, because they got a lot of knives, man. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of knives. Hoyman. Hoyman. Man, Hoyman. I just, it's just, I can't believe I've never heard of them before. Hoyman. Well, we got the B-roll of us using it out there. If you have any questions, just, you know, roll them out to us and uh, 
definitely some good stuff. So subscribe, like, we love you guys, peace. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.